So today's the day that we reveal the results of Oscar's DNA test and we're so excited to share them with you. So we went through a company called Wisdom Panel who have been excellent. Um, they're not one of these dodgy companies that need to see a photo of the dog. They literally just need a swab from the dog's mouth. Um, so you send them off the swab and two to three weeks later they come back with the results and they send you a little online report. Um, the report basically breaks down the different breed or breeds that are within your dog's DNA. Um, it also gives you a family tree so you know roughly what their parents and grandparents were and it also does a couple of health checks. We love Oscar as he is. No matter what the results say, it does not make the slightest bit of difference. He could be crossed with 10 different dogs. He could be crossed with an elephant for a week care. Obviously he's clearly not. The reason we wanted to get the DNA test done was to find out a bit about his history um, and just to learn a bit more about him. We bought Oscar about a year and a half ago now. He was nine months old. The previous owner had a cat who didn't like Oscar. It was either Oscar goes or the cat goes. Fortunately for us, they chose to sell Oscar, so brought him home to the Isle of Wight. So, the results are in. Over a thousand of you voted on Facebook. Um, around 80% of you thought he was a pure pug compared to around 20% of you who thought he was a crossbreed. I can now tell you that Oscar is not a pure pug. He is a cross. I'm not going to tell you what he's crossed with just yet because I want you to guess. Head over to our Facebook page, get involved, tell us roughly what you think he might be crossed with. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to find out exactly what Oscar is crossed with.